just a mock-up get started yeah well it was still it was a fisherman's bait show that control panel you saw the previous video I'm sure I took this guy off of it this is a as you see it was an mk2 control panel before they hacked it horribly with the fishing controller even has the uh, original control panel underneath it too bad it's destroyed because it's cut. Might rip it off later and have a wall hanger. It something. does have some hardware we need to get off of there. Put on the. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove this. These two things so I can latch down this control panel. I'll probably end up getting another real CPO for it. This is just a homemade job I made back in the day, like when I got my first arcade cabinet, which was uh, Mortal Kombat One and Two. And I made a vent cab. Here's a fishing reel I took off of it. Exciting, I know. Never did get this game to work correctly, but I don't think we ever had it wired up properly. I think it needs a new potentiometer and a yeah. reel. It wouldn't let us reel the fish in. We could catch a fish and play the game, but it would never reel in. So. We'll go ahead and fire it on, I guess. Yeah, um. I just basically, what I did, instead of taking everything apart on my old Ultimate MK3 cab, I removed the harness out of the old cab and left it attached to the buttons and joysticks just to try and do a quick, easy conversion without unplugging everything, which works somewhat. I found out once I got it all together, my kick buttons aren't working on the left side, and I can't uh, initiate a, a start a two-player game. So I, we found some irregularities in the wiring, came loose, ground wires and whatnot. So um, we're going to try to fix that at this point and hopefully get her uh, Try to get it playable at least for a day. Correctly. Yeah. We're going to have to uh, either rebuild this monitor or, or swap one out and then rebuild that one. Yeah, this monitor is not as pristine as I like it to be. Um, it's got the red's real bad in it, and it probably needs a cap kit and a flyback. It'll go from being real dark to real light if it's on for a couple hours. I mean, it's passable for most arcades, like you'd see out in the wild, but not for my own collection. This is going to be a not for someone putting this kind of time into. Yeah, it's going to be the best monitor I can find. I got a couple in the garage. I'll probably pull out later today and throw one in here, but for this video's purposes, this will. Well, I guess you want to get to the control panel. Do do what's needed. Just... I'm gonna get a closer view. You're shining a light right at me though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show where you're working at. Well, right here. We found a ground wire that was broken and definitely causing some buttons to not work. Yeah, we think this is the reason that our. Player 2 is not working because it's all daisy chained together, so it needs that ground to, for the buttons to function. So we're going to strip this. I'm going to stick that right near all those eyes. I can... mm -hmm. Do a little soldering, hopefully. Get my soldering iron over here. Stretch it. This harness is a rat's nest. It's not the permanent harness for this cabinet, but now we're just trying to get it playing. Yeah, this harness came out of the 
original MK3 I had, and it was, uh, what would you say, scrapped together to say the least. Right. And it's um, definitely temporary, but hopefully we can play the game fully, and then we got a little harness adapter we're going to use to... Not the easiest one here. This angle, huh? Any yeah. excuses I can make. Yeah, I guess you're not the greatest, so. Oh, I'm the talent. What are you talking about? You're right, Matthew. I'm not Muhammad Ali, though. You might think you're the funniest and all that, but I don't know if you actually have the best skills. <laughs> I probably need to solder that a little better, but it might work for our purposes here. You know me, I'll keep screwing with it till it's perfect or I screw it up. And we don't want to waste that much time on our video. That wire's getting a little toasty. <laughs> Alright, well, if that's the extent of our grounding issues. We should have player one working. Before, only these three buttons right here and the start button and this joystick were working. Hopefully, this will open up the entire right side and we can select player two. Alright, I'm going to back off get a better view of the monitor. Back again. Okay, we uh, located our issue was uh, with the daisy chain. We soldered this back. And still didn't fix it because the ground wire from the cabinet was also disconnected. And that was right here. We ended up connecting it to the ground on the run button and it completes the circuit. Now it, it actually initiates the game like it's supposed to. Alright, everything's grounded. All the controls are working. It's playable, fully playable for MK3, Ultimate MK3. Uh, we're definitely changing out the harness. Uh, the future plans at this point, we need to design a shelving unit for all the four boards. Um, that's what's really going to make that uh, or decision is how the switcher is laid out. I'm not yep. positive yet if we got to stand them up vertically. We haven't got it yet. So. Or do it horizontally. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning towards horizontal. Here's a my MK2 board. It's already MK1. That's it. You're right. MK2. I don't have. Or I have it here. It's just uh, not accessible. But yeah, the MK1 board with the sound card. And we'll probably just design some sort of shelving system. Uh, we'll let's see what others have done. Got to get several kick harnesses. Probably have to rearrange the uh, inside of the bottom of the cab. Yeah, I might have to move the transformer. Yeah, we realize that we need, what, four different kick harnesses that run to the condenser board because we don't have the proper connectors on the ends of the ones we have. Right, we're going to look up where I, you know, who made this, and uh, I'm sure they have harnesses that run from here to each board. What else we got to do? Uh, going to switch out the monitor. Still got some minor cabinet work. There's still a little bit of that laminate here and there underneath the bolts. Yeah, I mean, that's that's small stuff at this point. I, I, my main goal at this is to get all four boards in here and all of them working at the same time. And then we'll go from there, hopefully. Uh, and the a good monitor. The cabinet's in great shape. Everything is, yeah, I'll pull the monitor. I'll probably change that out this week, if not tomorrow. Uh, you think there'd be more space in this cab, but really, with putting all the stuff we got to put in here, it might get a little tight. So right. We'll and before we can it. really mount a harness in there, we kind of know how we need to logistically set it up, where we're going to mount that condenser board, where we're going to mount the PCBs. This that's going to be the fun, tricky part. Is yeah. Is where everything is going to sit in the inside. Then I got to still hook up the coin door. It's not it's not hooked up at all. We 
to snip the wires. I don't know if we're going to hack that together or not. Uh, but, I wouldn't uh, even worry about it with that ratty harness in there. But at this point, uh, we got in farther than we thought. It's deconverted, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a fisherman's bait by any means. We can. I guess the uh, better, have some fun. better marquee, too. Is that just a yeah, I'm going to put an MK2 marquee. marquee in it. I'm going to keep it all MK2, even though all four will be in here. Because that's my favorite version of Mortal Kombat. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to run through the buttons and prove that we got the grounding issue solved yeah, anyway. It, it could one kick earlier, so that, that button involved a kick. <laughs> that move. Oh, I don't, my skills might not be up to far. I haven't played in a while. I usually play human opponents, and they're a lot easier than the computer. I'm not going to embarrass myself. <laughs> And I got beat. But yeah, both high kick and low kick are working now. Um, on the left side, nothing was working, so I'll go ahead and clue in on him. And just follow your daisy chain. If you have issues with your buttons or your controls, make sure everything's grounded. Yeah, check all connections everywhere just for something that's loose, or even the micro switch could be out of alignment and just not clicking. It's very surprising. Just two ground wires and this whole side not working and the two kicks over here not working. Only the only thing that was working initially was the start button, the two punch buttons, block, run, and this joystick. Other than that, everything else was all daisy chained on this one side. Oh, they would give me, give me Jade. Jade's the worst character in MK in my opinion. That and Air Mac. But there's a kick. All the bugs are working. I say uh, we call it for this video. Um, well, uh, I'll get this uploaded and then we can try to get uh, a little bit more video of monitor swap. We'll get a little bit better monitor in here. What say you, Mike? Yeah, monitor swap's next and then. Uh, Figuring out where all the boards are going to go in the machine. Like I said, I'm still looking for an MK4 board. If you want to donate one, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Always. And forever.